Salmon burgers don't have to be tasteless and dried out. I'll share my tips for making flavorful patties with a special ingredient that locks in the moisture. Plus, I have a quick and easy lemon dill sauce that complements the fish. Atlantic or king salmon are excellent choices for this recipe. They're both packed with healthy omega-3 fatty acids, which helps with texture and binding. For convenience, it's best to purchase fillets with the skin already removed. However, if that's not available, it's really easy to do it yourself. Place the salmon fillet at the edge of the board. This makes it a lot easier to run the knife along the salmon. Take the tapered end and have it closest to you. Hold the knife down at an angle towards the board, then grab onto the skin and just use rocking motions. If this starts to get a little bit slippery, you could also hold it with some paper towel. I use a boning knife because it's a little bit more flexible, but you could also use a chef's knife. Pull the skin taut so it's easier to cut. The goal is to remove it all in one piece. There you go. Make sure to remove any scales or pin bones. I'm going to cut this into one inch pieces. Cut it into one inch cubes. This size is going to be a lot easier to break down in the food processor. If you see any sort of gray areas, this is called the bloodline. It's okay to eat, but it's going to turn gray once cooked, so just trim it off. We want to keep the patties pink in color. We need one and a half pounds of cubed salmon. Salmon has a soft texture. Shallots are going to add a nice crunch. Cut the ends off both sides of the bulb. Cut in half lengthwise, peel off the skin. Cut into thin slices, mince into small pieces. Oof. <laughs> we need five tablespoons for the patties and reserve two teaspoons for the sauce. Mmm, some fresh dill is gonna add a nice herbaceous note. Trim off the leaves and remove the stems. Use the fanning motion to chop into finer pieces. Ooh, this smells really good. We need one tablespoon for the burger and reserve two teaspoons for the sauce as well. To make the patties, use a food processor or blender. Add one and a half pounds of salmon, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, five tablespoons of minced shallots, one tablespoon of capers, it's going to add a nice pungency and tanginess. One teaspoon of chopped dill, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper. Place the lid on, secure it, and just pulse this. If needed, scrape down the sides. You don't want the mixture to be completely smooth. You want to have some small pieces of fish for some nice texture contrast. This looks perfect. To prevent the patties from drying out, the key is adding breadcrumbs. When it's mixed in, it starts to absorb the moisture, creating a starchy paste called a panade. As the fish cooks, the starches swell, creating a gel-like matrix trapping in the moisture and prevents it from falling apart. Add a half a cup of breadcrumbs and just mix it in until everything is combined. I use traditional breadcrumbs, but you could also use panko. The easiest way to form the patties is just to place it into a mound, flatten it out a little bit, and then just use your hands to just cut it into four equal pieces. Form it into a disc shape and pat it down into about three quarter inch thickness and about four inches wide. These will make hearty seven ounce burgers. Make sure they're uniform in height so that they cook evenly. I like to brush just a little bit of olive oil on each side. This is going to help prevent sticking when it hits the grill. Just flip each one over, brush the other side. I've transferred these to a sheet pan and covered them. Now I'm going to refrigerate them, which is going to allow them to chill and firm up a little bit before we cook them. Lemons add a nice brightness and acidity to the fish. Just zest the peel. Oh, I can smell the citrus oils. It's gonna add this wonderful taste to the sauce. We need one teaspoon. Cut the lemon in half. 
squeeze out one teaspoon of the juice. This provides a nice tartness. I like to add some fresh basil. Stack the leaves on top of each other, roll it up into a cigar shape, then cut into really thin slices called a chiffonade. Cut it down in the center just so the pieces aren't so big. We need two teaspoons. Add a quarter cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of minced shallots, one teaspoon lemon zest, one teaspoon lemon juice, two teaspoons of sliced basil, one teaspoon of chopped dill, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper for some heat. Just stir this till everything's combined. If you like to have some extra sauce to serve on the side, go ahead and double the recipe. Salmon burgers can be cooked outdoors on the barbecue or in the kitchen on the stove top. I'm going to show you how to make them in a grill pan. Heat a grill pan over medium high heat. Evenly grease the surface with olive oil. Once hot, add the patties. Cook until golden brown, about four minutes. If cooking the patties outside on the barbecue, make sure you use medium heat and cover it with the lid to prevent the heat from escaping. Flip and cook until the internal temperature reaches 130 degrees, about two to four minutes. Do not overcook. Right before serving, heat a clean pan over medium high heat. Place the buns cut side down. Toast until grill marks form, about two to three minutes. Wow, these look amazing. Let's make a burger. Got a toasted bun. Add the lemon dill sauce that we made earlier. This is also gonna prevent the bun from getting soggy. I like a little more. <laughs> Place this delicious salmon patty on top. Fits the bun perfectly and it doesn't shrink down. Add some sliced avocado, juicy tomato, a couple slices of red onion, and some crispy butter leaf lettuce. Add the bun right on top. And since this is a big burger, I'm gonna add a toothpick to secure everything together. Wow, this looks so good. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind salmon burgers. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. If you're looking for more seafood recipes, check out my pan seared salmon right here. It's like a gourmet meal made right at home. Wow, this is gonna be good. <laughs>